This is a mini help video for the topic of algebraic indices. So, first question, your bog standardy type of questions here, but they're going to try and confuse you. They're going to give you numbers that you could accidentally give what we call the common misconception for. If you are multiplying indices together and they have what we call the same base, then you literally just add the indices together. So the first answer is m to the power of 9. The next one underneath, again, they're going to... If, if we're times and we're adding the indices together, then we must be subtracting here. So it's p to the power of 6. But people will commonly think, oh, well, 8 divided by 2 is 4 because it's under a divide sign. But when it's indices, it's slightly different, okay? To the power of 4 means multiplied by itself 4 times, okay? So there's a new rule within this. It's never a bad idea if it's a smallish number just to write it out, just to help yourself do it. So we've got 2 times 2, 4, times by 2, 8 times by 2, 16. So it's to be 16n to the power of 3, add 3, add 3, add 3, which is 12, okay? Looking at the bracket, we just we just literally did 2 to the power of 4, so we actually did the proper numerical indices terms there, and then we just multiplied the 3 and the 4 to get that. Okay, next question. Simplify m to the power of 6 times m to the power of 7. That will be m to the power of 13. Rule uh, for B, anything, no matter what it is, if it's to the power of 0, it is always 1. To the power of a half means square rooting, so you want to square root each of the, well, the, the number we want to square root, so we're going to square root 16, and then if you've got a half outside of a bracket and it's to indices, then you times those two together, so it's going to be y to the power of 3, which would then be 4y cubed. Remember, dividing, we're just literally taking them away, so it would be m squared. With this one here, 5 times no number here, there is a number really, it's 1, 5 times 1 is going to be 5, so the numbers deal with the numbers. x to the power of 4 times x squared will be x to the power of 6. y cubed times by y is really y to the 1, 3 add 1 would be y to the power of 4. Next one, a to the power of 4 times a to the power of 5 is a to the power of 9. Next one, numbers deal with numbers, 45 divided by 5 is 9 e to the power of 6 divided by e, that's really e to the power of 1, so that would be e to the power of 5 in the answer. And then f to the power of 8 divided by f squared would be f to the power of 6. Write down the value of 9 to the power of a half, that means the square root of 9, which would be 3. m squared times n to the power of 4 would be m to the power of 6. This would be y squared, and this would be m to the power of 15. Uh, p squared times p to the 7 is p to the 9. 3 times 2 is 6, so let's do this in two stages. 6, q to the power of 4 times q to the power of 5 is q to the power of 9 over q cubed. So the letters deal with the letters now, so we get 6q to the power of 6. With this one for c, you could just say, well, it's going to be 2 to the power of 5, x to the power of 5, because that's just 1, and then y to the power of 15, but we would have to answer the 2 to the power of 5 bit. 2 to the power of 5 is 32, x to the power of 5, y to the power of 15. This one here, numbers deal with numbers, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So that's going to be 5, and then y6 divided by y squared is y4. Simplify this one, 7 times 3 is 21, w times w cubed will be w4, and then x squared times x will be x cubed. Next question. 15 over 3 is 5. a cubed over a is a to the power of 1, but I'm going to leave that as a. You could put a to the power of 1. It's not wrong. It wouldn't get marked down for that. And I have decided to make a mistake here. b to the 7, b to the 3. I'm going to just doctor that so it's a 4. Okay, that's b to the power of 4. p cubed times p to the 5. Uh, sorry, p cubed times p squared is p to the power of 5. This one, because there's all of these bits here, we just want to simplify it. So remember, that's to a 1. 3 add 4 add 1 is q to the power of 8 over q squared, which gives us q to the power of 6. p cubed times by itself, then times by itself again, would be p to the power of 9. This one again, take your time. Let's do the top first, the numerator. 3 times 2 is 6. And then q to the power of 9, and then over q cubed. So that's going to be 6q to the power of 6. That sort of feels familiar, that one. Is that the one we did before? And then that was the last page, so hopefully that was useful. Thank you very much for watching.